So, what's been going on? Recession looming, energy bills spiralling. So, what's the MP for West Suffolk done? I'm a former health secretary. Get me out of here. Matt Hancock signs up for the jungle. Matt Hancock sees this as the perfect opportunity to engage with some 12 million viewers on ITV. Leaving his party and prime minister fuming and relatives of coronavirus victims furious. I'm not surprised. Matt Hancock isn't a celebrity. He's a human skid mark. <laughs> they should change the name of the show to this. I'm an incompetent fuckwit who broke my own social distancing rules <laughs> by cheating on my wife. Get me out of here. <laughs> exactly, man. I hope he gets rinsed. And it's not just me. Listen to this quote from one of his own colleagues. I'm looking forward to him eating kangaroo penis. You can quote me on that. Damn right! <laughs> Damn right, his mouth will have more dick in it than a Channel 4 documentary. <laughs> The phone lines are going to melt. Hello? Is that Anton Deck? Yeah, feed him every animal bollock you can find. <laughs> your own, your own. He'll be doing every single Bush Tucker trial for two reasons. One, his appalling reign as health secretary. And two, imagine the faces he'll pull. Christ, if a football makes him do this... <laughs> <laughs> God knows what koala anus will do. It's so ridiculous. Have you seen why he said he's gone in? His decision to join the reality TV show I'm a Celebrity is his way of showing us his human side. His human side? <laughs> Have you seen how he walks? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a zombie going for a job interview. <laughs> he's so odd. Normal people don't stand next to women like this. He does that to Mike Tyndall, he'll knock his teeth out. <laughs> Hancock is so deluded. Have you seen why he said it's the right time for him to go to the jungle? He feels able to do so now because the government is stable. <laughs> what? The UK government is as stable as this bloke. There's more. Listen to this ridiculous justification for going on the show. It's a politician's job to go where the people are, not to sit in ivory towers in Westminster. Where the people are? <laughs> Your constituency is West Suffolk, and you've pissed off to Australia. <laughs> the only person glad you're 10,000 miles away is this lady. <laughs> Done. Check out this mesmerising bit of bullshit. Mr Hancock thinks it's a good way of promoting his work on dyslexia. He also has a book out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Promoting his work on dyslexia. How is that going to help dyslexics? <laughs> mummy, mummy, I've just seen Matt Hancock on TV and now I can spell the word wanker. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. This is the part of the story that shocked me most. The Tory party whip was taken from him pretty much immediately after the news broke, but Matt Hancock will still receive his MP salary. He's still getting paid. Exactly, man. You're right to make that noise like you're dying inside. <laughs> it, it, it was, <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that man, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> You've turned him into a cow. That's how angry people are. Some people can't afford heating, and we're paying for him to get a fucking suntan. And what makes it worse, there are reports he's also getting a fee of 400 grand. The country's not stable, but his bank balance is. Never mind eating animal balls, we should get the animals to jack off straight into his mouth. <laughs> and I've watched that. Let's be honest. His political career is over. He's going to spend the rest of his life doing shows like this. And here we go. Cook your fucking dish and shut your fat mouth! Look at his eating, look. Have you got enough in there? <laughs> Could you give us 
some indication that you're here? Could you make a noise? Can oh, we go now? Please, please, Where please. Go? Fuck that! <laughs> this is going to be special. So go on. Elsewhere this week, distressing news for the future of humanity. The COP27 climate summit has begun in Egypt with dire warnings about the state of the planet. According to the UN, we need to almost halve emissions by 2030. At the moment, they're still rising. We are on track for warming of almost three degrees centigrade. A catastrophe for humanity. Terrifying. So how long did Rishi Sunak stay at this two-week conference to save the planet? The Prime Minister flew into Egypt for just one day. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Apparently, he had to get back to about 800 times for Hancock to eat wallaby scrotum. <laughs> what blew my mind, what was this guy doing in Egypt? Wonderful to be here in Sharm, an amazing privilege. I got up early this morning, as I'm sure many of you did, and I, I swam off the coral reefs. No one cares! <laughs> Why was he there? He's not Prime Minister, and he fell asleep at the last one. <laughs> I mean, did you see his speech? Did he reflect the gravity of the situation? No, he spoke utter bollocks. Six billion gigatons we, we're, we're taking out of uh, the atmosphere, which would otherwise be swaddling our planet in a great eiderdown uh, of heat. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're on the brink of catastrophe, and he's banging on about duvets. Keep it simple, like Crystal Palace footballer Michael Alise. His post-match interview this week was as efficient as it gets. Just talk us through it. Uh, through what the goal? Mm. Uh, I think Wolf passed me the ball. Shot, scored. <laughs> <laughs> nice and brief. But it, it, was a, it was a moment that, that captured the game, that won the game. And what's the feeling like when the ball does hit the back of the net? It was a good feeling. <laughs> Do you feel you deserved it overall? Yeah. Let's be honest, the real reason Boris left the country is because he's running away from this. The public inquiry into the COVID pandemic has asked to see WhatsApp messages sent by Boris Johnson when he was Prime Minister, along with details of communications by other senior officials. Now, you're not going to believe this, but I've pulled some strings. I've managed to actually get hold of the... It's true. Of the... <laughs> of the real WhatsApp messages Boris sent during COVID. Hey, Chris Willie, old boy, please click on this link. For fuck's sake, Prime Minister, this is serious. Chill out there, guys, and get down to the party. I just want naked Skittles. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> that was definitely real. Now, incredibly, did you see who wasn't allowed to go to Egypt? King Charles blocked from attending COP27 by Rishi Sunak. It's ridiculous. Charles, who's cared about the environment all his life, can't go. But Boris, a man who looks after animals like he's taking a shit, is absolutely fine. <laughs> so, did Charles mope about Rishi's decisions? Nope. He hosted his own COP27 event at Buckingham Palace. Yay! <laughs> Take that, Rishi! You're not my real dad! Yeah, yeah, that's right. You might want to check into an STD clinic because you just got fucked. 